We're very serious when it comes to safety at Boston University and especially here at Needle. Part of my role as the Director of Research Safety in Environmental Health and Safety is to ensure that we have a comprehensive environmental health and safety program across the university for biosafety level two, three, and four. We ensure that these laboratories are kept safe by making sure that we check and verify the procedures that they actually in the, lo in the laboratory. Training for laboratory safety personnel is key and very important. There are three levels of training that we conduct within the environmental health and safety program. The first level of training is a series of didactic training and lectures. The second layer of training is conducting a suit suitability training. A lot of simulated exercises within the laboratory setting, making sure that they could actually conduct physical work uh, while wearing a suit. The third is mentoring. The person is allowed to go into maximum containment and conduct some work. Pull this collar back, insert it. Once the, you're in the suit, one of the things that they're going to do is make sure that they, they know how to properly connect the, their suit into the air hoses. Now the air hoses are actually connected onto a HEPA filter to ensure that the air that's coming into the suit is, is clean. So we are in the BSL-4 training simulator laboratory. It's one of a few uh, simulator laboratory that in the United States and it's geared towards and put together to make sure that folks who are working in the BSL-4 are properly trained. The Biosafety Level 4 was built and constructed to meet and exceed the regulations, both federally, local, and statewide. This room houses um, the three decontamination tank that disinfects all of our waste from the Biosafety Level 4 laboratory. All of the waste flows down through these tanks and they're cooked at 121 degrees C for about an hour. The plumbing pipe that comes down from the BSL-4 are actually double pipes. There's an internal main pipe and there's an ex external pipe that actually surrounds the main pipe to protect it from leaks. We are situated in the mechanical space for the Biosafety Level 4. Uh, each of the rooms below us in the Biosafety Level 4 has its own exhaust and supply ventilation system. As a matter of fact, the lines that you see in front of you actually delineates the different rooms. And uh, they replaced the speaker out here. The building automation system is connected to the control center. The building automation system monitors not just security but also safety of containment within the BSL-4. This includes the HVAC or what we call the ventilation system including the exhaust and supply air. There are essentially three elements to ensuring the safety and running a safety program. Containment protects the environment, the personal protective equipment protects the individual working in the laboratory, and the administrative procedures and practices both protect the individuals working in the laboratory and the environment itself. At Boston University, we are committed to a culture of safety.